Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Not like I set up this tripod or anything. Wasn't expecting anybody. I swear. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my video. Oh, yes. Did you miss me? Because as always, I miss you and my fringe is doing our thing. <laughs> Literally, what else is new? You know by now. Also per use. This is my beautiful iced coffee recipe. If you want to know how to make it, I will leave the description in the description box down below. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Mm-hmm. I get there eventually. Okie dokie. Today, I have planned for you a video on how to be single. Slash why I'm single. <laughs> Although it's probably obvious to you all. Or should I say a shock? It's a shock. I don't know why I'm single. Beats me. But let's just do it for the lols. Honestly, I recorded this video yesterday, but I was like really anxious yesterday and just not in the best headspace. And I was talking really low in that video. Which is annoying when I'm editing, so, and it's obviously annoying for when you're listening to the video. I'm trying to get better at it, but I don't have a good microphone, so I'm working with what I got, okay? Don't hate me. So I'm going to do it all again. Please appreciate it. So, this is Leanne Riley's guide on how to be single. Please enjoy. Get some snacks, get a coffee, and get comfortable because it's time for chats. Cheers. Oops, I just hit off the camera and it moved. Oops, oh yeah, Kess is over there. Kessie, say hi. Kess, hi. I just actually scared her on Snapchat. So if I have that video, I'll insert it here. Kessie, oh my God. Cause you sleeping? <laughs> Did I scare you? Did I? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist though. She just looks so cute when she's sleeping. Oh, she loves those ball. She loves me really. I swear to God. Okie dokie. This is how to be single because I am such a pro. One, be selfish. Be selfish. Cause you only have to look out for number one which is you, or should I say you. <laughs> you don't have anyone's feelings to worry about. You don't have anyone to think about in the back of your mind about if you're like planning something, if you're going somewhere. You know what I mean? All the stuff that causes the stress. Just be selfish, do what you wanna do. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. And it's literally as easy as that. You have every right to be selfish. So be it. You don't know when your next boyfriend's gonna come around. You don't know when you're gonna have get married and possibly have kids and never have an ounce of time to be selfish ever again. So take this time and lap up all, every single ounce of the selfishness that you can take in the world. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean. Two, be independent. Take this time alone to learn how to be independent. Learn how to cook for yourself, clean for yourself, do your own washing, like your laundry, all your clothes and stuff. I said cooking, but cooking is a big thing. I love cooking. Like, I feel like it's therapeutic in a way. Cause you're just like, you can make whatever you want. You can look after your body, like work out, like just look after yourself. It's such critical time in your life. Cause as I said, you don't know when you're not going to be able to spend that time on yourself. So you need to be so selfish and become so independent to a point where like you are so, so happy on your own that so when someone else can actually come and share it with you, you're not dependent on them. Because when you're dependent on someone and if they go away, like literally a part of you goes too, but like not in a good way. And like, you don't want to be reliant or dependent on someone because that's just when it gets unhealthy. Like you always need to be your own best friend because no matter what happens in the world, you'll only ever have yourself. 
So like you need to start loving yourself even on your bad days and know know what makes you tick, know what makes you happy, know how to de-stress, know how to deal with things, learn like every inch of yourself inside and out so that you can just be your own best friend and be independent and be the king or queen that you were born to be. I couldn't click with my left hand so I had to swap. Yeah, that wasn't cool at all. So yeah, that's question two or question, not a question, but you know what I mean. Three. My third point is learn to enjoy your own company. That kind of overlaps with the independence one, I suppose. But as I was saying, no matter what happens, you are always going to be with yourself or by yourself kind of thing. Like you need to learn how to be your own best friend just to be able to get through life with yourself. Because like, yeah. I don't know, I feel like I touched base on that too much in question two, even though it's supposed to be, be independent and now I'm stuck on learn to enjoy your own company. And I feel like I already covered that. Oops. Let's move on. Four, treat yourself. Go get a manicure, go get a massage, treat yourself to a pedicure, do a face mask, face mask, face mask. I feel like I said that wrong. That reminds me, I have one of these bad boys right here. This is one from Penny's. It is the Hydrogel Mask. Can you see that? Yes. Let's treat myself. I have to practice what I preach, so let's do it. I did one of these before with my friend, Claire, and they're very goopy. So this should be good top content. Oh my God, just don't drop it on myself. Ew, how do you unfold it? I don't understand. There's bubbles coming out of it. Oh my God. Ew. Lovely. Ew. Right, let's just put my hair behind my ears. And let's plonk this bad boy on my face. If it would ever just unravel. These are so goopy. What is this? What is this? Kessie, probably best not to come over right now. What is that? Bruh. Let's just put you on. This is what like horror films are made of. <laughs> I would like to wake up in the middle of the night and see this coming for me. <laughs> is that on right? Oh, well, my friend is on the way. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Oh, I probably should have tied my hair back. Wait, my fringe, or my fringe. <laughs> it's so cold. I can't see myself. Where's my mouth hole? Is that it? Oh yeah, I found it. Ugh. Ow. <laughs> I just breathed it in my nose. <laughs> Oh, lovely. I need to check that I'm doing this properly. Image of beauty. Thumbnail. Ugh. Someone's like, oh, oh, that doesn't taste nice. I just got a notification that Natalie posted a photo or something. Hi Natalie, I'll be with you in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> oh my God, isn't this just an image of beauty? No wonder I'm single. It's a mystery of why I'm still single to be honest. Oh my God, I have something in my eye. Anyway, <laughs> why are 
are the eye holes so small? I don't understand. And the mouth hole keeps on falling down. Mmm. Lovely. Guys, look. Come here. You don't like it? Yeah. Even my dog doesn't like me. God, the eye holes are very small. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? What's my next point? What was that even? I completely lost train of thought of where I was. My chin is very flappy, it's hanging off. Just pat it back on when that happens. <laughs> oh, the taste of it. <laughs> I wonder if I could drink my coffee through this. Kelsey, this is just the image of beauty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. She said yes. Pennies, fix your masks. Make the mouth hole better and the eye holes bigger. Okay, okay. Next one. Yeah, this is treat yourself. So this is treating myself. Five. Hopefully you can hear me through this. Let your emotions out and ride the wave. <laughs> if you're sad, be sad. Can you see me through this? I don't have to have to film this video for the third time. Let's just rip it a bit. <laughs> Stay open. Yes, let your emotions out and ride the wave. That is life. If you're sad, be sad. If you're happy, be happy. If you're anxious or nervous, be anxious or nervous. I just need myself in the viewfinder. <gasps> what is this? See, this is beauty. This is what all you men are missing out on, I'm telling you. Yeah, so let your emotions out and ride the wave that is life. Because there's no point bottling... Bo there's no point bottling your emotions inside because that doesn't do any good isn't that right Kessie? Kessie you want to go out? you going up? you going up? do you want to go out? I think she wants to go out ow I just whacked my knee off the radiator but what's new? I think she wants to go downstairs because I think dad's cooking dinner yeah, let your emotions out and ride the wave that is life. Because you, if you bottle in your emotions, you're only hurting yourself. God, that sounded like I rehearsed it, but I actually didn't. But yeah, nothing good comes from holding in your emotions. I think I like a hair on my lip. Six. Wear what you want to wear. Whether it's what kind of dress or whatever you're wearing on my out. Whether it's the pyjamas you want to wear. You don't have to wear lingerie unless you still want to. Especially if you had a boyfriend that was controlling, or at least tried to be. You don't have to deal with that anymore, honey bunny. You've got to wear, you get to wear whatever you want to wear. And you don't have to worry about anybody else's opinion of it. Because the only opinion that matters is yours. I'm sorry, but amen to that. Next point, point seven. Explore your own taste. I suppose this kind of goes for only if you lived with your partner whether you're like moving out of the place or like when you get your own place you can explore your own taste when it comes to like paint colors what paint to put on the wall what cushions to get for your bed you can literally put like a hundred pillows on your bed and turn that shit into like a pillow bomb hit that's what i do anyway Oh my god, like you can do anything. You can design your kitchen, you can get whatever couch you want, you can like eat whatever you want, like whatever your taste is, your clothes as well. Like, you just get to explore and be you. You don't have to worry about anybody else. You can just like be on your own and be you.
0.8 as you can watch Oof. I just breathed that in 0.8 is that you can watch anything that you want to watch you can like full on turn on Netflix and like just binge watch documentaries and nobody can tell you otherwise you can binge watch Friends, you can binge watch The Walking Dead, whatever you're into. Binge watch... <clears throat> Ugh. Binge watch YouTube, binge watch anything. Murder mysteries, a cooking show, soppy rom-coms. Love a good rom-com I do. You can watch whatever you want to watch and without having to have Netflix and chill. Whereas really, you want to binge watch your own show but then someone wants to just like have a grope and grab your ass the whole time. Which is like, you're not having it. You're not having it. I need to take this off. Am I beautiful? Lovely. It really didn't taste nice. Oh, it's on my tongue. Ugh. I'm just gonna massage all that in. Cause there's still loads of the residue on my face. You can't let that go to waste. Feeling fresh. So yeah. I think that's everything. That's all the eight points that I had written down from <clears throat> yesterday when I first did this video. Oh, there's loads of residue on the side of my face. Okay, so you're gonna wanna come back in. Yep, yeah, she's there scratching. Hi. Come here, Kizzy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Kizzy, do you want to tell them or lie? Kizzy, this is, I mean, Kelsey. People, this whole video was a lie. I'm not single. Kizzy's my new girlfriend, aren't you, Kizzy? Aren't you? Yeah, give me a kiss. Kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> She's not usually this shy. Guess. Kelsey. She's not even looking at me. Guess can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Kelsey, you usually kiss me. She's making me out to be a liar, guys. You're only messing out. Do you really love me? Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Kelsey's my new girlfriend. And that's the tea. Let's finish this video up by doing a little shout out to anyone who just got dumped. So let's just start talking. I've been there. I know what you're going through. It feels like you're going crazy and it feels like you will never get out of the dark pit that you are sitting in right now. Let me tell you, because I was you a few years ago. And actually, before that as well, because I've had two heartbreaks in my life. I know how you feel, but you will get out of it. Because look where I am today. I know I still have a, lot, a, a long way to go, but I'm definitely way happier on my own than I was back then. I know you can't see that right now but it it will happen and I know it's so cheesy but everyone says time is the best healer and at least as annoying as it is they're right and I know if someone told me back when I was going through my breakup that like oh you'll be fine you'll get better you'll be happier than they ever made you I'd be like I don't think so because like I'm the type of person that like when I'm in a relationship with someone I give like my all to them I'm like all in it I'm like I'm in it like 110% or else not at all 
So like I give them everything. I devote like all my time to them, all my feelings, all my love. And then for that just to not work out literally just breaks me. And like you fall into like a million pieces. And you're just like, this is me done now. I give up on love. What's the point? Like literally what is the point? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being... I'm not saying that like I never have those moments because obviously I still have some moments when I'm like literally what is the point like what but like you just literally have to be your own light yeah you have to be your own light at the end of the tunnel and it will get better it does get better it always gets better you have to go through the worst of times to get through the best of times and if you're going through a shit time right now just know that you're only going through that shit that really shit time to get to a really great time so always appreciate what you have because if you're going through something bad, there's always going to be something better around the corner. But then also appreciate that if you're going through a really good time to actually be grateful for it and appreciate it because it's not going to be long before you're going to have to turn the corner and there's going to be like a little bad patch again. It's just how life goes. You just have to ride that wave, as I said earlier. Ride the roller coaster or the wave that is life, or whatever you want to call it. Basically goes up and down, all around, flings you about. I still don't understand it. I still don't understand it. Someone needs to make a documentary on life or like how to get through life. Because I would definitely read that book or watch that documentary. So if anyone's watching this wants to like make a documentary on how to get through life, please send me the link to that because I would greatly appreciate it. Greatly literally but just remember you're you're better than that person you deserve way better you deserve the world because if they couldn't see how amazing you were and they couldn't appreciate it well then it's their loss because you like literally like i don't know am i even making sense hopefully i am so yeah big virtual hug to anybody who just got broken up to I know. I'm here for you. Come talk to me. If you're ever alone, feel free to send me a message. Snap me. I'm always up for a chat. We can watch the notebook together. I'll cry with you. I'll go get coffee with you. I'll go eat cake with you. Oh yeah, that's another thing I want to say. If you know someone who has recently gone through a breakup or is going through a breakup, please reach out to them. Don't let them feel like they're alone right now because they don't need to feel alone right now. Go get coffee with them. Go work out with them. Go on a walk with them. Just sit with them, watch the notebook, have a cry. I do that sometimes when I'm feeling down. You just need to get it out of your system. Out of your system, cleanse your aura and cleanse your soul. <laughs> and make yourself feel better. Put yourself first. Do whatever makes you happy. If something doesn't make you happy, don't do it. There's no point in doing anything that makes you feel unhappy. You're life is too short to be unhappy so do whatever you want to do spread positivity love each other along the way and just take every day as it comes you will get there i promise and stay strong i know you can do it anyway guys i think that's everything for today's video if you'd like to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you're going through a hard time i'd love to help out and try my best to help out anybody because yeah i wish i had people to talk to in that time of my life it's not hard it sucks but unfortunately, it's a rite, it's a rite of passage in everyone's life. And everyone's been through it. So, like, the least we can do is help each other out, you know? So, yeah. I think I'll have to love you some movies, guys. Until next time. Stay happy. Stay sassy. Toodles! To be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea why I'm single. Because I'm a catch, I'm a queen, and it's your loss. Bye! I really have no idea why I'm single. No idea. Beats me. Beats me. Beats me. To be perfectly con- <coughs> To be- <laughs> To be perfectly honest, I have no idea why I'm single because I'm a catch, I'm a queen, and no. To be perfectly honest- on <laughs> To be perfectly honest- Honest- <gasps> To be perfectly honest with you, I actually have... I can't talk. I can't talk. To be perfectly honest...
Don't really know where to go with this, to be honest. 